Today I thought I'd do a video on the Mild Liners by Zebra. I got these a few weeks ago now and I feel like I've been using them long enough to give a kind of first impressions review on them. I bought them on Amazon for about £11 I think for all of them. There's three different sets here that I've kind of jumbled up. I will leave a link below to the Amazon listing I bought them from. Um, so you can see which colours are in which set. So I bought these mainly so I could do some colour coordinating in my planner. I haven't been a massive colour coordinator, if that's the phrase to use. I just haven't been one of those people who can religiously colour coordinate their planner. And I start to think maybe it's because of the highlighters that I have. I've only ever had the super, super bright highlighters, like the neon orange, the neon pink, and the neon yellow. And I started to think actually maybe it's because they are quite garish colours that I don't really want to use them. The overall colour scheme in my planner at the moment is a kind of pastel-y watercolour sort of theme and these are my weekly inserts which have like pale pink on the dates so to whack on a neon pink like color over all my writing um just doesn't appeal to me <laughs> so that wasn't the only reason i got these that was just one of the reasons i wasn't a fan of the neon ones i did debate getting one pack but then i couldn't choose which colors i wanted and me being me i wanted the full set i wanted to be able to figure out which colors i preferred there is some very bright kind of classic highlight colors in these and they're not quite as I don't want to say bright, maybe vibrant is the word, I don't know, but they're not quite the same as the classic highlighter colours that I have in my pen pot already. So when I got these, I obviously did colour swatches of them, and I did realise that they aren't quite the same colour as the end of the pen. So what I'm going to do is colour swatch them for you now, so you can see the colour of the ink compared to the colour of the lid. Some of them are spot on, but some of them are quite far off the actual colour that's shown on the lid. Okay, so those are all the colours of the inks. The ones that stood out to me as not being quite the same as their lid colour was this one, which is the kind of neon orange. It kind of shows up on here as being a lot more pale, kind of similar to the lid colour, but it's definitely a fluorescent colour. Another one was this one. I was expecting this one to be a bit lighter, if I'm honest. It is in the same sort of colour as the lid, but it's a lot darker than I expected. Again, these ones turned out a bit darker than I expected. I don't have a problem with the actual colours, like I like these colours. Um, it's just if you're expecting them to be almost spot on to the lids, some of them just aren't. It's not a massive issue for me, that's just something I thought I should mention. Something I did love about these pens is the fact that they have a fine tip on the end. So if you wanted to colour coordinate by writing the actual lists or something in the same colour, you can do that, as well as obviously writing with black ink and then highlighting it. So you have the two options in one pen, which I absolutely love about these. I do have a select few that are my favourites at the moment. These are ones that I've been using for all my colour coordinating in both my monthly and my weekly spreads. These colours are the ones that I've been drawn to. So in my planner I use them for the different things that I do in my job. So I have one for my YouTube videos, I have one for my blog posts, one for my Patreon. Um, then I have one for deadlines and events. So overall it helps me to have all of my work stuff highlighted in my calendar, but then within my work stuff, they're all highlighted in different colors so I can easily see them, um, which is obviously the point of a highlighter. <laughs> so these ones are my favorites at the moment. I think there's at least one from each pack in here. In my planner, I have them all highlighted at the edge. So that's how I use them in here and that's how these colors look together. The other thing I have been massively, massively testing out at the moment is which of my black gel ink pens work the best with these highlighters. Um, 
this has been a bit of an issue for me. <laughs> With any sort of highlighter, it completely depends on the ink that you use as to whether it smudges. I've actually grabbed a load of my go-to pens, like gel ink pens, um, and a couple of other ones as well, just to test out. The pens I've been using the most at the moment to just use in my planner are these ones, which are from China. Obviously don't sell them in my shop anymore, but I absolutely love using them. They're the right size barrel for me, and also the size they write in as well is perfect for me. And obviously they're black gel ink, which is my go-to. <laughs> so yeah, these are my go-to, but they don't work massively well with these highlighters. I don't know how well this is actually gonna show up on camera, I have you like super zoomed in so I don't know if it will focus. So this is the cheap striped pens. I've tried them with a Coletto gel ink pen, the marble pen that I had in my shop which again is a gel ink, and a couple of biros. So the Coletto actually smudged which surprised me because they do dry quite quickly so I wasn't expecting them to smudge. And all of these when I wrote them out I wrote it, I gave it a couple of seconds and then I just kind of rubbed my finger over it to make sure it was dry and then I highlighted it so I gave them all a very similar amount of time to dry. Basically the outcome is that the Ink Joy, the Papermate Ink Joy was the best it didn't smudge it whatsoever. The other one which did surprise me was this Kiki K pen. It's a black gel ink again. So this one and this one was this pen and it just didn't smudge it whatsoever. Um, this one again was another very similar Kiki K pen. This was this one um, which has been made the exact same way as this one. So basically I've narrowed it down to the Kiki K gel inks and the Inkjoy gel inks that worked the best with these highlighters. The Biro pens worked fine as well. Biro is always going to work a bit better with highlighters than gel ink because they dry quicker. So my overall opinion on these is that they are really really nice pens. They weren't massively expensive, like I said they're only £11-ish for 15 pens. You can buy the set separately if you don't want to buy them all. Something that's completely unrelated to how the pens work and is something that any stationery lover would probably appreciate like I do is how they feel in your hand. They're a nice size, they're nice to hold and they make a nice sound. Is that something I could add in a review? I like these pens because they sound nice. <laughs> I don't know but I'm mentioning it anyway because if you like stationery like I like stationery you'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> so if you are looking for a new set of highlighters then I would definitely recommend these. Like I said it's two pens in one really. If you prefer colour coordinating with a chisel tip or if you want to colour coordinate with a fine liner you have both in one pen. There wasn't much bleed through until I stopped with the pens so you can see the shadowing in most of it and then where I started and stopped there's a bit of bleed through. But yeah I feel like that definitely depends on the paper you're using. Using. This is the back of the weekly page that I'm using at the moment um, and I've highlighted three things on here. There's one up here somewhere, there's one down there and there's one on this section but you can't see them at all on here. If you do have any questions then let me know below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.